Hey everyone, welcome back to another installment by Southern Custom CC. This is Mark. Today we're going to look at the Kokomo Schwinn 27 and a half inch mag wheel ape hanger cruiser motorized bike. I've been receiving, uh, I've received a lot of uh, questions regarding how I put this together because it's not a straightforward build. There are a couple uh, customization steps that you need to do in order to make this work. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and go through those real quick. The first one is, this is not a standard Zeta engine, this is the 2018 single jug 80cc engine. Um, I went with this because it's just a little bit shorter on the jug than the Zeta, um, because as you can see the space is very very close, and I just barely cleared it, so I wanted that extra space, so I went with the smaller jug. The spark plug sits right in between the space frame of the bike so that's very very nice and very very snug even with the m8 bolts and typical mount i had no problems getting that in second thing i did is with the intake i took a standard offset intake cut it in half put on a silicone fuel hose elongated a little bit because i wanted some more space between the carb and the frame i didn't want this knocking the frame as i was riding so i just had it pushed out just a little bit third thing is I took some L brackets I made my marks and I tapped into the frame of the bike and I secured it with allen bolts and I secured that with the uh, standard mounting um, studs that that came with but I had to chop them just a little bit in order to clear that allen, the allen bolts and that's nice and secure Lastly, and probably the most important modification I did was the CNC mount. So first of all, this is a 44 tooth CNC mount. Um, this is not the mag mount. This is a standard 44C mount. These are mag wheels, and typically you'd use the mag mount, but the space here was so um, sparse that I had to go with this um, typical mount. To give chain clearance between here and here, I actually had to mount this face backwards. So the notch is on the outside and the teeth are in the inside, which pushes the chain um, away from the frame just a little bit. Next, what I did was right in between the CNC sprocket and the mag, you have the mag wheel and you have the hub. Where those come together, there's just a slight cur uh, curve of the alloy, which hinders the CNC sprocket from mounting flush against the mag. So what I did was I dremeled that flat to get a very nice L so that I could mount my sprocket as far up and as close to that mag as possible so that it's flush. And then, I ordered some 70, mil, uh, some 70 millimeter in length M10 bolts. I ordered some 20 millimeter in length nuts uh, M10. I mounted my sprocket flush to the mag. I made my screws in. I made a center mark in between the mag, and then I tapped that with an M10. So then I screwed in my bolts through the mag and secured them with the nut. That way I get a very nice tight sandwich. The sprocket's not going out, uh, the sprocket's staying still, and this is very, very firm and it's very strong that it does not jeopardize the integrity of the mag. So this is securing the bolts and the bolts is securing the CNC mount flush to the mag. And as you can see, I also have three washers, which help push out the frame, which allowed me the just a couple extra hair clearance that I have between the chain and the frame. Uh, that's not hitting, it doesn't hit, so it's just, just enough to where it's not jeopardizing the integrity of the frame. So once again, I added three washers, 44 to CNC mount, reverse mounted 
the sprocket. Got some 70 millimeter bolts, some 20 millimeter nuts, uh, both of those M10. Tap the center of my mag and fasten that flush. It's a very smooth ride. I'm a big fan of this bike and it gets a lot of looks and a lot of comments. So hopefully this was able to help you. If you have any more questions, just go ahead and post them. I'll be sure to address them at my earliest convenience. But thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you soon.